Hey Guardians, this is Coltrans from Necrotics Gaming bringing you yet another Strand Outbreak Perfected video. This one is going to be on the Hunter using the Assassin's Cow. And the point of this is to get those Nanites going, get your Severing Rounds going, and the Whirling Maelstrom, which is an absolute motherfucker. It kicks ass. Um, you are putting out tons of Nanites, tons of Severing Rounds, and you are getting plenty of Tangles back in which to continue laying out damage. Um, I spent a few days working with this build, um, pretty hardcore, different bits of content. Um, if you do want to see harder content with this build, I will do a build of the month video and I will show it in the max out hardest content and I'll bring one out just before the uh, final shape drops. But um, I have been just about everywhere with this hunter and I've just been having a lot of fun with it. It's getting to the end of the season so I'm not on a particularly big push or grind at the moment and um, this thing slaps so you get the invisibility with this as well we'll take a look at the build and we'll see how it works in a minute but the other thing that you're going to notice when you run stuff with this you are going to have higher kills than anyone else and you are going to be dropping orbs like crazy getting back that woven now and like i said it's swarms of nanites swarms of severing rounds and the whirling maelstrom that's what you're going for and that bonus invisibility Okay, we will take a drop. Look at the build. So we're going to be using the Gambler's Dodge Roll. I like that because when I'm close, I can get my melee ability back. Triple Jump needs no explanation from me. A threaded Spike. You're going to be getting that severing, and you're going to be getting shields back and energy back. Um, Shackle Grenade on this. If you're using the Certorachne's Exotic, then you can use the Grapple, which could be the Wave of Mal. But I'm using the Shackle because it is also good at taking out out those unstoppables. Um, I pretty much set up mine to take out every champion with two of them being weapons and one of them being the unstoppables using the shackle. Um, the previous aspect is basically just giving you two grenades but this is the beast for this build which is the whirling maelstrom. It's drawing a tangle um, that is what you're going to be doing here. Um, you destroy that tangle and you get this whirling ball of hatred. Okay, so we're going to be using the thread of binding. So when you pop your super, you're going to be getting suspending bursts. Really good with unstoppable champions. Thread of fury, damaging targets with a tangle grants melee energy. Thread of isolation, landing rapid precision hits of its severing burst from the target. And we are going to be then dropping on for our woven mail with the thread of warding. So every time we pick up that orb, you get this. Um, when I do use grapples, I use uh, Tarachnes because every time I grapple, I get the woven mail. We're not running that build, we're going to be running the Assassin's Cow build. Um, so we need that. So you can see how I've got my mods set up. You can change a couple of things about. Um, like instead of doing the uh, finisher for the armor mod, you can put in a grenade armor mod instead. Um, but I think this works just the way it is. I like a bit more gunplay than just straight up abilities. Like I said, the one thing I like about this is the invisibility. So when we look at the Assassin's Cow, you've got the Vanishing Execution, Powered Melee, Final Blows, Grunt, Invisibility and Restore Portion of Health and Shields, Finishes and Final Blows against more powerful targets, Increased Duration of the Invisibility and the Amount of Health and Shields Restored. Plus on top of that, we are dropping on the Finisher mod that gives us our health back. The Outbreak Perfected, obviously from zero hour right now. Uh, disease Vector is what makes this really special and your Nanites. Um, it is super potent and I've set it up also so that it's champion mod so I can run this all day long. I absolutely love this weapon, loved it since D1 and Indebted Kindness I think is a perfect combo for this. Obviously taking on champions with this. Um, I've got several rolls of this but I just like my little vault shot roll. Um, absolutely adore it. Okay Guardians, I hope this build has proved to be useful for you. Watch through the footage and you can see things work the way they should be. Um, give me a like and subscribe and um, enjoy. Take a look at my previous videos. I've got quite a few strand videos up. Um, give me comments in the uh, section below and if you want a dim for this, um, always feel free to ask because I am always going to respond. Until the next video, I'll see you then.
continue.